Here with reaction, Fox News contributor. What's good, everybody? I would like to thank everyone that's been showing mad love to my videos, my Donald Trump videos, commenting, where they liking, subscribing. I would like for everyone to keep that going. Keep that going. I, 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 you know, I will say I got longer content on the way. Longer content on the way. Continue. You're Charlie Hurt and OutKick founder Clay Travis. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Charlie, let's thank start you. with you. You see this endless loop of all the Biden, they call them gaffes, I call them lies. Uh, that, plus I think a pretty rough week for Joe Biden. He's losing to Trump in the polls. He's down the... He's going to lose. He's going to lose. A lot of you would not win. He's going to lose. He he will get in handcuffs and go, to, go do his time for that cocaine charge. By seven in the swing states, he's got some big SCOTUS decisions piling up against him. Obviously, a lot of family drama going on, cocaine at the White House. What's your read? Yeah, but, you know, all along, uh, he has had the press on his side, and I, I, I won't hold my breath uh, that, that that's going to change anytime soon. The press ain't nothing. That's creepy, creepy Joe. He need to do time for touching women, trying to lead into younger ladies, females, everything else. This man is sick. Soon, uh, although I do think that that story this weekend by the New York Times talking about the fact that he is a deadbeat granddad and his son is a deadbeat dad who uh, won't even acknowledge. Uh, I can't even fathom it, quite frankly. Can you imagine having a grandchild that you don't even want to meet, that you don't want to see? It's not he don't want to meet. That man is old. That man can't even think right. He barely could talk. He barely could walk. I mean... You would look at that old man and say that old man would go to sleep just just by standing. You don't want to pick up. You don't want to know. It's, uh, it, you know, th th aside from the the moral uh, uh, appalling nature of all of this. Um, but uh, I, like I said, I, I, I'm not going to hold my breath uh, as long as, as Joe Biden has the press behind him and the press working for him, working to cover for him and working to attack his enemies. He's going to be able to. He's going to lose. He's not going to win. He's going to jail. To stand and fight. Hey, Clay, there's no question that Charlie's right about that, the press protecting Biden. But it sounds like even the Democratic voters are starting to pull away from Joe Biden. Up to a third of the primary voters are supporting RFK Jr., Marion Williamson, none of the above. So I think his presidency is starting to fray. But when you think about the granddaughter in Arkansas particularly, and it is his granddaughter no matter what spin and lie he puts on it, uh, what— Y'all let me know in the comments who Coke y'all think that was. I think it was Joe Biden's. He looks like a crackhead. Are they communicating to the public, these swing voters who said, I want somebody who's going to unify and get rid of the drama, be a family values president, and here we are. Kellyanne, you worked for President Trump. Can you imagine if he had had a four-year-old granddaughter that he refused to acknowledge and even didn't count? I mean, that that's cruel in a level that I don't know we have seen in a modern Yeah, that is crazy. That's ridiculous. I mean, Trump would never. Era to refuse to acknowledge that you have a granddaughter, to say you have six grandchildren instead of seven. Can you imagine if one of the Trump sons had been illegally profiting off of foreign relationships, making tens of millions of dollars, not paying tax on it, had been a drug addict, there had been cocaine found in the White House. And the White House, I saw this analogy, Kellyanne, is running around. That's like McDonald's recognizing that they get hamburgers stolen and everybody's saying, oh, it couldn't be the hamburglar. I think the cocaine probably belongs to the crackhead son of the president because it, it belongs to the president. It requires such an unbelievable level of entitlement, as you well know. To take cocaine into the White House, you have to be the kind of person who could drive 172 miles an hour. No matter what it is, they can't cover it up. He got exposed with cocaine. With all due and all respect, I would like to thank everyone who tuned in to this video. More on the way. Pieces and blessings. In your Porsche while on crack and have no consequences for that behavior or your failure to pay millions of dollars in taxes or your failure to acknowledge one of your children.